Alright guys, I'm back. I forgot. I told you I was going to show you how to set up uh, TFTP in your DHCP options. So, let's just say, uh, let's let's go back and create another VLAN. So, we go under interfaces, assign. And we'll go over to VLANs and we'll create VLAN 64. Remember our LAN is on EM1, so we want to choose that parent interface. 64. And yeah, we'll call it a voice VLAN. We'll just call it voice. Let's assume that it's a VLAN. Then we'll assign VLAN 64 to an actual interface. So it's option two. And we're gonna say that's gonna be on VLAN 64 on EM1. Click save. Boom, done. Come over to option two. We'll enable it. We'll call it voice. And you know what I'm going to do here? Let's give it a static just so I can kind of show you. Um, we'll come down here IPv4. We're going to do a slash 27. Then we're going to name this uh, 10.0.0.65. 64 is the network ID. The first usable is 65. And we're going to click Save on that. And we'll apply it. Just so you can kind of see what this looks like. We're going to go over to our wireless. And we're going to call this one 10.0.0.33 or 32 is in that way. We're going to make this one a slash 27. And we'll apply that. Now, let's say that, so we'll go over here to services and we'll go down to DHCP server. And let's just say on our voice VLAN, so we'll enable this, that we'll give a range. And I typically don't like to hand out my range, so we'll say we want the phones to grab IPs from 70 to 94. 94 is the last usable, 95 is the broadcast, so it'll be 10.0.0.70 all the way to 10.0.0.94. So 65 is the router. So let's say 66 is our PBX, our Cisco um, call manager. It could be asterisk, whatever, but you know, I like Cisco. So we'll come over here to the TFTP server and we'll say that whenever a phone requests an IP, we're going to give it 10.0.0.66 and that's how you specify the TFTP server if for whatever reason your phone doesn't pull on IP it doesn't get the actual TFTP server from this um, you have to check me on that I believe if you use this it's going to be option 68 you know what we have the technology let's see DHCP TFTP op server option. I know it's 150, but I'll say what 66. I thought it was 68, but 66 looks like. Right here, option 66 is the open standard Juniper support. Where option 150 is a Cisco proprietary. So, if we go back to our PFSense here, I believe if you specify the TFTP server here, it's going to be option 66. But you may need to. 
if you're using Cisco because you know they like to do their own thing you might want to specify option 150 so what you would do here is um, see where it says additional boot P slash DHCP options you would click on advanced there you're going to click add is what what option do you want to add I want to add option 150 well what's the type it's not going to be text it's going to be uh, an IP address or host and then you would specify 192 Let's keep doing that specify the IP address of your call manager so 10.0.0.66 click save and you're done right as long as your switch supports CDP and you specify the voice VLAN um, the phone should automatically pick up what VLAN it's supposed to be on right and um, then it'll pull the TFTP option from PFSense and download its configuration file and be all set now let's go back to the drawing here because I didn't really properly explain this if you have a switch connected to a VoIP phone and then the VoIP phone the computers connected through the VoIP phone what's going to happen here is uh, the traffic from the switch to the phone is going to be tagged right it's almost like the phone has uh, a mini switch on the inside so this is going to be tagged and then the traffic from the laptop to the phone is going to be untagged spelling is hard wow let me spell that right. Untagged. This is important to understand because you might have some old gear or God forbid you have something other than Cisco and you want to get your Cisco phones working. This is going to be untagged. Right. So I don't have a Cisco switch. I got HP. What should I do? Well, it's possible that on a single port you can put both tagged and untagged. So if there's no option to set up v, uh, a voice VLAN, then what you want to do is you want the whatever VLAN your voice is going to be on, you want that to be the tag traffic on that port. And then whatever port you want the computer or whatever VLAN you want the computer to be on, that would be the untagged port. Here's the thing about a switch. You can put multiple VLANs on the same port as long as they're tagged. You can only put one untagged VLAN on the physical port. All right, so multiple tagged. Wow, my hand right sloppy. VLANs. But only one untagged VLAN. Alright. That will conclude this video. I hope that helped you guys out. Again, if you like it, like my video, subscribe, give me a job. I need at least six figures. See ya.